Hello everybody and welcome back to Galactic Science 2. So we are working hard on getting stuff ready and I promised to make the blast furnace today. So let's start with that. In fact, there's quite a few things I would like to, to do over the next few episodes because this bit we're doing at the moment, basically making iridium blocks, is going to be very long-winded. I'm going to do a few bits and pieces in between. So for example, I'd like to make a, a painting machine um, have a look again at the vibrant alloy liquid because that's now fixed in 0 0.14 uh, we want to get the two of knowledge um, I want to do some auto crafting of broken armor I'd like to look at the um, compact machines and maybe I put a little A2 tutorial in it and then open open computers presence so I'd like to look at date open computers too so let's start with just trying to get that first quest or the next quest complete which was the advanced machine freight casing I think from Tech Ramon so let's get on with that so in here I've got some stuff prepared um, don't want those and I will keep this down here for the time being so what have I got prepared in here I've basically got something special that was a little present from uh, open computers. I'll open that and see what we get. I don't know what I've got the tanks for, but we'll take those. And a few more bits and pieces. So first of all we have to make a rolling machine. So let's have a look at the recipe for rolling machine. It won't be there will it? This one. So basically this is two compressors and one basic machine casing with pistons of any type and some uh, advanced circuits so that's actually I've already got that prepared by the looks of it so that's no big deal we can make a rolling machine and the, and the uses of this rolling machine was to make a cupernicum for the blast furnace actually I should really start a blast furnace shouldn't I so it'll be the tech reborn blast furnace, industrial blast furnace, that's the one. So we need to make these. Cuprum nickel or cupro nickel heating coils, which are made out of cupro nickel ingots. Actually they're very straightforward. Let's uh let's do that. All we need to do oh that's what the tanks are for. I had two tanks in my inventory. Let's just get those out of there again. Oh, I've got six. Oh, that's okay, fine. Six will be just fine, I think. I'm jumping up and down it, getting a bit too much lag, unfortunately. And even with the new factory base, it's still I've still got too much lag. Alloy mixer. Let me just turn this off. I don't want this to be sent away for now. Would just say we'll we'll set that to on with the signal. So here we've got the industrial crucible furnace. So we can melt some of these ingots. I think we need we needed four, didn't we? So that, that was eight each, so that's thirty-two. And actually that'll give me twice as many. So we'll just melt smelt these ingots down here. And they're gonna get put across into this tank here. We'll put these into a tank. We'll do the same with copper because it's basically just a mix of copper and uh, nickel. Like that. So we get liquid copper and we've got liquid nickel in here. So then what we need to do is take this alloy mixer here and put these two liquids in here. And it'll start to make liquid cooper. I don't know how to pronounce that to be honest with you. And we can put that into a tank, so we should get twice as much out of here. So we should have where we had it checked, did I? So 3,000 blocks. So we can then cast those into ingots, which is fairly straightforward. Just put them into here, like that, and that then should start to feed in. Oops, wrong one. Oops, that was a moop. mistake. Wrong machine. Try that again. Onto this one. The metal caster. Oh, it's full. Hmm. 
metal casters making iron all the time I think that's the only place I can do it easily but I've got some spare metal casters around let's go and get one so I'm suffering from lag really hard at the moment metal casters not in there is it it should be one of these two chests ah oh, there's something else I did between I just basically upgraded these chests um, from foundry that'll do just fine one metal caster and we will also get a mold we need a mold don't we i think i've actually got one prepared as it happens they're very straightforward i've got two ingot molds here which is just fine and i've got a spare this is very easy to make basically you just make the clay and just put it put the mold in it and then cook the mold as simple as that now we'll go downstairs and do this i think We just need some power somewhere. Oh yes, and before I forget, I actually found a bug. A really serious bug as it happens. Um, so let's put the machine onto this. With um, Quarry Plus, or the refinery from Quarry Plus. So let's put, I'll start with this. Let's put that into there and put the mold into here like that. And that should start to make us is Cupron Nickel or Ickle Ingots. We'll get, we should get about 32, that's maybe 32, 64. Yeah, we should get 32. And this is all working again as well. So in here I've got some gold, some redstone and some glowstone. And if I put that into each one of these, into these one of these machines, that's the wrong one. This is already prepared, let's put the gold into that. Click that in. Let's put the redstone into this one, and let's put the glowstone into this one. It'll all come out in here, and it should make for us liquid energetic alloy. So we've got an ingot of that, and you see all of these are empty. So let's just take that out of there like that, and that will give us one ingot. We can go and test that now as well because I've got this metal fence we've got those 32 there let's take that out of there and put this into here and then we can take that out and then we should get one vibrant energetic alley so that's fixed in this release as well which is great um, and the problem I had with the I want to sort of demonstrate it and basically what it did is it completely used up all this power in a very very f short period of time and this is the here and as you see it's got all the enchantments on so when I put the enchantments on it it took all the power out of the system so let's move this ca um, metal caster no I just don't I'll just put it on the side here like that and let's go and have a look over here I'm not sure if it'll do it now look at the speed that's going down at. as you can see it's going down enormously fast and it's just because of this so if you ever get across that problem, the fix is fairly straightforward. Let's go back over here and look at that. And now you see it's going back up very rapidly. Well, I, I tell you, that gave me some problems. I, swear, I can really, I want to be honest with that. I can also remove this, to be honest with you. So what we can do with this, I think, I haven't tried this yet, so it's the first time. You can put this back into here, and then you can basically take the enchants off again. I'm not sure if it was all of the enchants or just one of the enchants, so that's now not got any enchants in. Let's go put that back again on here. So that's charged up, and let's see what the power's doing over here. And as you can see, it's going up. So that was a big problem, so I don't know. If anybody else comes across that, you know what to do. Just take off the enchants in the disenchanter. Um, I'll leave that there for the time being. So we basically got our nickel. Now we need to go and make the rolling machine. I've got the rolling machine, haven't I? Let's go and plug the rolling machine in. I remember, when you're using any technical and stuff, same as industrial craft, you need an electric wrench in lossless mode. Otherwise, you lose everything. You break the machine, you get back one stupid casing. And it annoys you like crazy, I promise you that. So we can put that down, say, here, I think. This should not connect to anything nasty here. 
Now we can put into this these Cooper. Where are they gone to? Here we are. Now do I have to say recipes? Click recipes. All oh, right, we got some recipes. One recipe. Wow. We got no. Oh, we got power. That's fine. Let's put it in. The, hmm. I actually have to do this, don't I? Is that going to work? Or is it one of these things which is really slow? It needs lots of power attached to it. Has this got yes, this has got power in it. Okay, what I'm going to do, if it works like the others, we'll just possibly put some more uh, redstone energy cable on it. So let's go to here like that. My bag, I've got plenty of little bits of pieces stuck in here to make things life a bit easier. And to keep my inventory correct clean and that will keep uh, K to aid happy let's have a look at that now well I'm not sure if that's working let me just check these of that again maybe I need the tech reborn one okay because it doesn't look like that's working at all does it so let's go there Let's go to the uh, ore converter, which I've got upstairs. In here. So let's put that in there and take out the tech group born. It's either that or it's very, very slow. I don't know which one. Let's have a look. Knowing these things, it's probably very, very slow. So let's have a look at this again. Carefully go around the sides. Well, it doesn't seem to matter. Galactic craft, industrial craft, or foundry. So I reckon it's just slow. So we'll come back to that later on, I think. In the meantime, I'll make the other machines prepare for the blast furnace. I've got a feeling this isn't going to complete on time. The power is almost is not going up and down. In fact, it it doesn't look as like it's actually on. Max power thirty sixty four EU. But this is the you know, these problem with these tech reborn machines. They you say they're using EU, but they're taking RF as power. What I can do here, of course, is what with the multimeter, which I've got here. What you can do with this, I'll put this back now, we don't need those. What you can do with this, you can click any of these pipes like this, or conduits, or cables, or whatever flux ducts in this case. So you can right click it there, wait a few seconds, about five seconds, and right click it again. So it's telling me I've used some stuff. Unfortunately, I've got this um, uh, draconic logo in the wrong place, but you can see it easily enough for pressing slash. So actually, it's no power is traveling through that. So maybe that doesn't work. Huh. I wonder if it actually does take EU in this case. The other thing I did was build a charge pad here. So you can stand on that. Oops, I can try and stand on it. Let's go back again. Press shift and I'll walk across into this. No, I'll still jump up. <laughs> Tell you what we'll do. Let's just take the boots off. And that should allow me to walk into it. And then you get into this. And then you can see it charges up. It's a bat box charge pad, really. So it's the cheapest one. And it will charge up the this. So this is be fully charged. Let's put that back again. On one. Well, that's strange actually. Let me just. I don't know. I'll leave that for the time being. And I'll, if it's the last thing to do, then it's basically just a simple craft. I, what I'll do is I'll do the craft in my own time. So, well, in the meantime, let's get on with the rest of it. So, we need the blast furnace. So, this week we're on working on. Hopefully, that will just come up. It doesn't tell me anything about this, does it? Does it tell me what how much power it requires? Recipes? No. It doesn't tell me how much power. 
it requires just a shaped ruling machine. Let's go back and have a look at the blast furnace again. So we need an advanced machine casing, well we should have one of those. And then we need some induction furnaces too and advanced circuits. So if I shift click this now, we're basically missing, we've got the advanced machine casing, I've got a, a automation for that anyway. And we've got the circuits and we need these four rings. So the last thing we need was the induction furnace. So let's have a look at the induction furnace. which is which one are we looking at now this rolling machine ah, here we go Indus induction furnace from industrial craft so basically that is just copper ingots around an advanced machine casing and an electric furnace so if i can right click that so all i need to now to make is the advanced furnace or the, the furnace of a look so the electrical furnace we need two of these by the way so that's that so that's a, just an electronic circuit, two redstone around an iron furnace. So I have actually got an iron furnace. I think I made a one. And what was the other redstone, huh? So we can get the electrical furnace. And the red, uh, well, let's go back to that one and have a look at the recipe for this one here. It was just a, a furnace with some iron plate around it, really straightforward. And I haven't got a furnace, or have I? Yep, I've got a furnace. So we can make the iron furnace like that. Iron plates we've got already made. So then we can make this one. And of course the redstone will be missing again. And they do stack. So then we should be able to make this one. Put the two in there, and hopefully you could do that. And I haven't got enough advanced casings. Well, we need at least two of those, don't we? Let's just craft three of those just to be on the safe side. Let's start that going. I think everything was available, so they should be fairly quick, actually. There we go. Put that back. So there's that one. And then... We need, I think it was just this one, wasn't it? So we've got everything except for the rings. And I think the rings are either going to be just a power problem. So that's that. I'll put back these. I don't think we have any more needs for those rings. Let's double check that. Um, I want the blast furnace, don't I? Let's have a look at the uses of this. Uses. So we can do it to industrial bus furnace, it's all bound. And that's it. So it's only one, so I'm not going to waste, well, waste. I'm not going to bother making this up. And we'll put that one over here now. And we'll put these books away in this chest here, which is where I keep stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Here's this big chest here. With a big chest, I'm using these big chests now as storing everything I've got. What I want to do here is to actually make some more nether stars. And this was actually my mechanism for automation of making nether stars. I'll show you that. Only half works. So let's do another star. If we craft that one. Oh, next what it's going to do is it's going to take 704 hydrogen and then craft helium from that and that's going to make and with 64 carbon and nickel we're going to make one other star we'll start that off what it does is it's going to put everything into this chest here like like that so while i'm doing while i'm waiting for this because it takes quite a, it takes quite a long time to have a look at um that process because the helium takes quite a while to make because it makes them one at a time so if we come back here and have a look at the crafting now you see it's doing one at a time we can go downstairs and because have a look at that as well and that's see that's the same mechanism i'm used for for making the quarry plus stuff put everything into a chest and then manually go and finish it off so if we come over here like this and you can see it's putting one hydrogen in here at a time and then that gets taken out and that's coming into this chest here and on this 
if I haven't shown you this before, on here I've basically got set this to round robin and I've got a speed downgrade. Now the speed downgrade, as it says, reduces the app to one item per extraction. So it's only going to extract one. So it's going to go one on this side and then one on the other side, like as you can see. It goes in one here and then it puts the other one in here and it makes the helium. Just like that. So what we can do with the, the rest of these what the idea was I haven't I'll leave the nickel because that's the other one that you need to basically do manually uh, I could automate it have I got the book oh I know I've done it somewhere else I set it up with another synthesizer that's just a, a play area now for synthesizing stuff I set up the synthesizer here connected to the, the main power so we can basically put everything in here except for the nickel which we're going to craft into um, what we're going to craft into I can't remember the name of the thing how's this getting on let's go and check all right so it's it's got 628 to go so I'm going to leave that for a bit in the meantime, let's go back over here and have a look at this again. And if this has actually made any progress at all. It's just hard to see if that's actually a bar that's moved a bit. Or not. I just can't tell. Maybe I just have to wait and be patient, which is sort of a virtue, but... Uh, what I also have done here is I've also done this. I finished it off, made it into a room, and I was going to take some cable across here and take it all the way across to the to the factory, which we can go down through like this. Get the thing right. And I made a tunnel four high and just put torches as I was digging away on the side here. And the reason I put the factory 256 blocks away is because in Minecraft, 128 blocks is what is checked when you're actually playing the game. Oops, try again. So here I come to a little elevator, go at the top here. There are a few mobs at the top by the looks of it. So when I had this power problem, I had to find a way to solve it. So what I did is set up here a little bit of automation. So I got basically a workbench to making cobblestone in here, putting the cobblestone into there. And then I was sieving, I ended up with some potatoes, I was sieving some moon dirt to get some carbon, putting, decomposing the mini coals, I mean the uncompressed coal, and putting the carbon into there. Then I could attack, put that carbon into the sterling generators, because these were empty. So we had a bit of power to go on and carry on and see what was going on. It was a bit difficult with the lights going out. Um, I also moved these crafting units over here so that they basically are out of the way. And this is, I finished it off, made it a, a sort of a three by three by three cube. So there's 27 blocks in there of interfaces and molecular assemblers, which is also the very middle ones, uh, a molecular assembler, so which is actually quite nice as well. That tidies it up a bit more. But when we get to the um, other machines, so look here I didn't really do too much down here I did move this um, chemical decomposer doing carbon into here because that was driving me crazy and I think I did quartz as well and I've put the tesseract here and it is connected it's actually connected underneath if you look at this also what I've done here is I've put some face um, facades on the cables so they don't look so bad in fact if you come to this here and right click this and you can turn on the transparency for card facades and you can see I've basically taken it down two layers and then the and then the cables got the the power cables come underneath that like that which I think is quite nice looking what I want to do is make the painting machine so I can paint those other cables and make it even better let's turn it off again so they don't show up as being transparent right i think that was what i also did here is i don't think i'm getting enough power from the 
tesseract i think it's got energy coming in but it's not doing too much at the moment so what i did is set up some um sternly generators here just a bank of those with i could put another one on top but i know i'd have to run more power cable down i let them just sort of give a little bit of extra power to the system here because it uses quite a lot of power so let's have a look my way here so how's that getting on no wrong tool open hands breast let's have a look so right that's done it's stored the helium here don't ask me why it should have done that it shouldn't have stored eight and it's crafting one nether star so let's go back over to the other base now because it's going to be night time let's get the jetpack on and fly over yeah i'm talking about compact machines now i think they're going to be really good because one of the things there's my little path there one of the things about compact machines is it gives you a different dimension so you can set up some processing in a different dimension and let's get it on and then just do that i'm trying to get that off otherwise it'll be a pain um so therefore you're not getting the visual checks so then the gui should run faster and that's what i'm hoping for so let's take my stuff back out of here don't need that in there anymore I tend to forget, wonder where I've put all my stuff. <laughs> so now we can basically put one of those in there and one on the other side. And that will make 32 barium. Okay, next time I don't want to do that. I want to turn that off. That's the automation of that one. Let's get the barium out of the system. It'll be in the system. 64. Exactly. And this time we'll just simply split that into two. And that'll give me my 32 cupernicum, which we can then come back to the this thing. Oops, too close to this, and then put that into there, and then we should be able to make two nether stars. Take that off, so we've got two more nether stars, and then we should also be able to put one of the nether stars back in here so if I just come along here this is just an import chest I'll just put one of those in there I'll put them both in and that'll actually cancel the calc um, that should then cancel the so, uh, the crafting so it's making again now it's got to replenish those so it's making some aluminum ingots and it's also doing some advanced circuits and that's the only thing it's doing at the moment hopefully that's working <laughs> I don't know these days because I'm moving all these machines around and just to be absolutely sure I haven't checked whether it works yet um, I wonder I think yes the one thing I didn't do was to update this because of the way dash is working here you've got dash so I've got these three this is a mob drop and this might be part of the process so what I've got to do now is to smelt those and put those into the other side i have to do that now actually sorry about this let's go over here i have to put it into the factory because i hadn't got those rules because last time i made an ingot i got the ingot not the uh, not the dust oh, a few little mobs around and you can see any mobs near me just get wiped zapped by the well that so it keeps the entrance free which is also nice so what i want to do i want to put those into here don't i so basically it's just an export so we need to export into this dash and luminum and then we can put into the system and i've also got an import one here like this let's put those in first and they should get taken and pushed out and then we can put the rest of the dash in so we should see in here now dash is coming through uh, I suspect it's going to come through before the other bit, which means it's, it's going to take forever to do that aluminum. Huh. Well, anyway, the recipe is set up now. Let me just have a look. I don't care about that, do I? Because it's something that's getting on by itself. Right, fine. In fact, on this one here, we could actually put a speed upgrade, couldn't we? 
yes and that's going to take it in a bit faster it uses up quite a lot of power in this thing as well I'm not sure it'll balance at the moment because of the way I've got things set up but it, it doesn't matter if it runs out it runs out and it will fill up eventually so let's go back to base again maybe I want to maybe I want to grind a few mobs on the way see if I can get another mob soul I got me that time I heard the bang And it makes a bit more fun as well. And we just come to this bit, which I good. I didn't want to walk into that. You get stuck sometimes. So what you can also do with it. Oh, actually, can I have a look at this? I did get another. Are these mature? Oh, they're all mature. I did actually when I broke these last time. Let's put these out of the way. Um, I got another I got another seed so I, ended, I started with 11 now I've got 12 and it just happens every once in a while you get another one and they're all mature so I should have 12 ender pearls no oh, eight huh <laughs> they weren't mature then whoops it takes quite a long time to get these things to grow anyway we got eight whatever else it's not it's not the main it's not the main thing anyway so we don't really oops here we go let's put those into there like that and i think what i want to do is i actually want to open this christmas present is it a christmas present just a little something shift okay what did i get i got a sign upgrade and a hopper did I get four advanced circuits as well? Oh. So that was that present. Interesting. I think I got those. I'm not sure. Not 100 percent sure. No, I probably didn't. Maybe I had those on me. But then, anyway, that was the present. I think you got it just because you opened it up around about Christmas time. Not 100 percent sure. Let's put those away now. So that is going to be it for this episode. I'm going to have to see what's going on with this rolling machine, see if it's done any more rolling. And if it hasn't, it doesn't look like it's working, I must be honest with you. What's the R stand for? Roll. Doesn't have any, doesn't have any, doesn't have any effect and click it. Because I'd expect to see some progress. Anyway, I will research that between episodes. So until then, I'm going to say bye for now and wish you all the best.